The Nerdgasm Talk podcast is brought to you by Spaces Philly. If you love podcasts, go to spacesphilly.com where you can check out Lulu and Pop, Both Sides, Turntables, Jump Thoughts, Super Tongue, and the Nerd Coalition's very own No Gimmicks Needed. Visit spacesphilly.com today. And now, feel the Nerdgasm. Speaking of superheroes on the Avengers team, Spider-Man will be coming to Avengers for PS uh, <laughs> for PlayStation owners only, which is I'm go- I'm not gonna lie, that's upsetting. That is dumb in my opinion. Sony put the dick out of the table and said, "We own this table." It it's completely dumb. Now, I will understand each system had an exclusive thing, uh, had an exclusive character, like how Soul Calibur was. Uh, wait, they do that for almost every system. But yeah, how Soul Calibur was, where you had Link, Heiachi, and Spawn. That I feel like that's cool. That's They'll give people a reason to buy a system. But you're just literally cornering people into buying a PS, uh, a, a PlayStation system just to play as Spider-Man. And that's insane. That and Keith Crew said it the best way. He said, "Imagine buying a sixty dollar game, and you knowing you're getting the worst version of it, when someone else paid the same amount and just getting a better version of it." Like them Jays, he said. Yep. <laughs> it's. I think it's. I personally think it's completely dumb. I understand from a business move, but this is just like. Y- y- you're being greedy at this point. You're being greedy at this. And Spider Man is a insanely popular character. So you know people are gonna want to play as him. And then you just took that and you're just like you're you're literally holding it against us. And that's not that's very unfair to people who don't have that system. I won't say this. Because I think they abuse the exclusives. If something, in my opinion, if something's going to be exclusive, that game needs to be exclusive. I agree. You should have just, just keep it on the PS5 if you were going to do that. Yes, if that was the case, if you was like, Spider-Man's only going to be on, on this system, like, keep the game exclusive because Street Fighter Five is not on Xbox. Right, right. It's just PS4 so, and PC. It's the PS4 game and PC, so that, that's what Street Fighter Five is on, and you got to deal with it. That's what the point of the exclusive is. It's um, Killer Instinct is not on PlayStation; it's on Xbox. That's the exclusive. You got to deal with it. Everybody got the exclusive, but you can't share the game, but not want to share the character because, the, because you know what? Usually, I, I ought to be like, "Damn, it's supposed to be an Xbox player." But how does that explain Ultimate Alliance Three? Right, because Nintendo. Right. Has uh, you know, Ultimate Alliance Three? What you gonna say? Because it's Nintendo, they can't use Spider Man because it's a Sony a Sony property. They can't use X Men because it's a Fox property or, or a, a new a Disney property, because that wouldn't make sense. These are characters that could be shared. Like we say, it, I don't know the class action lawsuits and all that stuff like that, but these are uh characters that can be shared throughout the realm of everything because you're not dealing with that kind of thing. Now Nintendo, uh, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three was an exclusive game for the Nintendo Switch uses only. So uh this one here, that w- that was suck because you're asking also all the consumers to, to spend the same amount of money. Right. If I had PC like my brother in law, or if I had Xbox like my brother in law, or um even my son who has Xbox, and I'm like, well he gotta pay sixty dollars for this game where I'm not even going to get it because it, it, it ain't just Spider-Man you're not getting. There's a lot of exclusives that you're not getting with those other versions. You're only getting with the PlayStation version. Then you shouldn't even made this a game to spread across the platform. Right. right. Or if that's the case, you take this game down to about a, a ticket price of $39.99 or $49.99 so they don't have to spend the whole shebang on this because that, that is really limiting people from the game, and you want them to all come on to, P- to PS4, which you're going to put it on PS5 anyway. Yeah, it's already confirmed to be on PS5. And Sony is so... It's like... N- Nintendo 
Did, did, did you know, especially during this pandemic, the Nintendo Switch has sold, even before the pandemic, sold more than the Xbox? Yes. And actually, in 2019, the Nintendo Switch system sold more than the PS4 only in that year? I didn't know that. J- j- just a year, not all time, just a year. Mm. But what, the point I'm making is Nintendo knows what works for them. They ain't got to change for nobody. Right. They ain't got to be selfish for nobody. They're, they're like, you can do anything you want to because our system our system's going to sell itself. Sony and PlayStation is going to sell itself. Right. You don't even, you, if, even if you didn't put Spider Man as an exclusive, but you put him on all the systems, which you're probably going to do in the future, but you put him on all the systems, I still bet that the, the Sony version of that game probably would have still sold the highest out of those three versions. And Sony sells itself. Yep. And I don't know why you have to do a dickhead move like that for the people that buy the Xbox or. Or the uh, stream because now what you what you're looking at is backlash. Now, I actually from a lot from what I heard, a lot of uh, people were going to get it on PC um, versus any of the systems. Oh, well, now if they were console only, they were going to get it for the uh, PS uh, four, of course. But a lot of people were getting it for the PC mainly. Now with this, uh, now that Spider Man is revealed, it said their they, like pre order skyrocket on the PlayStation. Skyrocket strictly because of Spider Man. Mm. So it again, it's completely unfair. It's it really is. And, then, and now you got people that's not either going to, have to try to find a place because now if you if you really don't have a PlayStation, like it, you, you get, think about the kids now. Right. My son don't got no PlayStation. He ain't gonna be coming here playing on mine all the time. He ain't got no money to afford a new PlayStation, especially not a PS Five. He don't got. He does not have that money. And we got kids out, out here that, you know, just love the Xbox. That's all they may have. And, you know, Spider Man's a beloved, popular figure. That's just not fair. Right. That, it, it's, again, it's completely unfair. It's unfair. Now, I hope there's not cross play. I don't oh, know that, if there's cross play. That, that's, just a, that's a slap in the face. That, that That's the ultimate slap in the face. Like, you. That's what it is. <laughs> that, that's the ultimate slap in the face. 